Hello and welcome back again to WK Stars Basketball Weekly. I am Dan Shepard and sitting with me one more time is the coach of the Stars. Coach, welcome back. Thanks. Glad to be here. Uh, this last week we only had one game uh, and that game was seemed like a tale of two halves, I guess you would say. Yeah, it, it really was. We, we didn't play well the first half, but we, we played very well the second half. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As disappointed I was in the loss against Dyersburg, I was that happy in this win. Right, so. right. And the games were very, looking at back at that Dyersburg game, I guess they're very similar in games, but in that the outcome was exactly the opposite. Though. Right, and that's a good thing. <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, that you're on the winning end this time. Right. And that's exactly where you want to be. We needed to get back on yeah. the winning end. Right. And that's a, t that's a tough team you're going up against, too. They were. They were, they were good. They're uh, big and athletic, um, right. which everybody we face it seems like they are now so. they, they got a lot of guys from uh, of course you down in West Memphis and they got a lot of big guys that, down in that area that Memphis and West Memphis area mm -hmm. is packed with talent and and Shawnee I think they do three-fourths of their recruiting right there right and you know them and Mid-South really compete each other compete against each other for the kids there yeah so it's packed full of talent yeah a lot of good talent comes out of there all right, right. coach uh, we will talk about that game a little more when we come back you are watching wk stars basketball weekly <laughs> Welcome back to West Kentucky Stars Basketball Weekly. Coach, uh, you went down to West Memphis, played Arkansas State uh, University Mid-South is their new name. They got, right, they changed got a new it. name in right. there. Uh, a lot of the same faces, though. Oh, yeah, same faces, same <laughs> facility, just a new name. Right. And the facility's great. Yeah, it's a really nice place to play. Yeah, yeah, all their facilities are top-notch. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. everyone down there is really nice. It, it's a great atmosphere. Right, I do want to say a special thanks to their coach, too, uh, Coach Chris Parker, who gave us this video that we're about to show. Right, they, uh, right. They really came through for us. They did because we, we didn't have anyone to video that game. Right. So, I mean, without them, we wouldn't have had a copy of it. Right. So, right. yeah, we appreciate that. Yeah, and here it is. All right, Coach, like we said, this is the, the first half, and you guys have a little trouble. At the first of the game, they start off on a 7-0 run, but you uh, bounce back, tied it up at 9, I believe. So yeah, we, we did our customary in three-minute timeout right into the game, it seems <laughs> like. There's Jake Williams yeah. uh, nailing the three. That was a good shot. We, we started out, we missed a lot of short shots again. Right. But... Um, Good job by Ant to see the floor. Andy started out well. He really did. He really he has really come a long way in the last few games, especially in this game in particular. I thought he he really held his own down there at times. Yeah, that was a great lead pass by DJ. Oh, 
Pablo loses a handle, but he fights for it and gets the ball back. Yeah, I, I was glad to see that. him get on the floor. We, we haven't done that enough. Uh, you know, if you're as strong as Pablo is, you, you need to be down there battling for it. As Andy posted up. Great Good. post move right yeah, there. Yeah, real good hand move. Coach Hill done a good job of putting in a lot of extra work with him and Lawrence. You guys really extended the zone, I thought, this game a lot more than you had been. And uh, seemed to be a lot more active in that zone. We were. In the second half, it was actually a whole lot better than the first half. I still wish he'd quit fading on this shot. He, <laughs> he hit it, but he doesn't need to fade. Right. Not in that, certainly not in that situation no. there. That was a good shot, though. Good take by Jake. It's good, that shot fake. Yeah. Uh, well, he hit one and kind of set him up. It was a good finish by Ben. And Ben played really well this game. Uh, yeah, and I just looked at the stats. I think Ben was five for six from the field. And that, that's, we need that. That really helped. Yeah, um, when you go up against teams that you're having to face, you really, your guard play has been pretty good all year for the most part. Right. But really, you need those big guys to, to really step up down low. That was a great save by Anthony. It really was. Another good thing. Your halftime score, you guys are trailing 50 to 39. Uh, what kind of a halftime speech you give you guys? Well, it, it wasn't really too bad. It was just a few adjustments on the zone we needed to make. And, and we all talked about it, and, and we made them. Very good. Good shot, man. They came out really intense. Well, the second half we did come out kind of slow, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we had to call another timeout three minutes in. I think I asked them if they were going to quit or play basketball. And they responded. I mean, yeah. they, they responded. It was really until about ten, nine, ten minutes left in the game, it was still like a 20-point lead. And you guys were able to just chip away. And uh, the last five minutes were just phenomenal for you guys. There's your leading rebounder. Yeah, 12 there. rebounds by our 5'11 point guard. <laughs> Good little mid range shot. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he fell down. I don't like to see that. He, he fell down three seconds after he let the ball go. Good shot by Jake, though. Pablo, it was good to see him make yeah. a couple threes in this game. Classic two on one break, yeah. can't quite finish, but they stay with it and still able to put it in the basket there. We did a good job of blocking out this game too. Oh yeah. Yeah, this game, uh, you had the rebounding advantage, 47-43. We have all except for one game the last few games, too. They, they've done a lot better job of rebounding. There's a long three right there. Yeah, so this is about the point right here. You're still down about 20 points at this point in the game, and you guys really uh, turn on the Jets here. Really good spacing, too. Yeah, everything was spread out well. That's a good move by Zach. So I like to see, I like to see his pass ahead. Pass ahead and then we're going to kick back up. And that spacing I was talking about gives Jake that layup right there. Yeah, and Jake really should have been an and one. That kid was falling down on him. Just like that kid did right there. Good pass and by got, Ben. You got four guys running the floor up ahead of everybody else. And we, we are really good when everyone's running the floor. And when we're not, we're not very good. That's a good, good job of carving out some space. They wave off the basket, but still it was nah, good. good play. <laughs> well, when you're on a road coach, you can't. Oh, I, I know. I know. And, and we did a lot better job of playing through some of those calls in there, too. And we had three guys right there going after mm -hmm. the ball. 
a lot better job of closing out too. Good pass by Zach. Another pass by DJ. They all running the floor there. Right. Ben got that because yeah, he ran the floor. Again, that was an amazing steal right there yeah. on the on the inbound. DJ's really just as quick as he needs to be. He's, he's just really sneaky on that plane. Just snuck right in there. Good take by Pablo. That was one of the his better moves that he's had in the last few games. It, it, it seems like he's been settling for that fadeaway shot there. Right. Good one by Jake. And you guys had the lead here and there, pretty much forced to foul. Right. We did a good job. I think we at one point we did miss three or four from the free throw line. Right, but, but you shot nearly eighty percent, seventy-seven point eight percent from the free throw line in this game. We shot a whole lot better, and, and part of that early in the year is my fault. We didn't shoot enough free throws. And that's going to do it right there, Coach. Uh, your final score, 96-89. Overall, are you pleased with how that game, uh, how things gone in that game? Oh, oh, very pleased. I mean, they showed a lot of heart. You know, mm -hmm. Like you said, it, it was exactly opposite of the Dyersburg State game. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have to do. And, and they, I'm very pleased with it. Right, especially to make uh, such a dramatic come from behind. I mean, they could have quit, honestly. When you're down 20 points, it's easy to give up sometimes. Oh, very easy, and especially in a hostile environment, you know, <laughs> in West Memphis. Right. Uh, you know, with those kind of athletes, and right. they showed a lot of heart. I was very proud of them. All right, Coach, thanks for uh, sitting with me this segment. I think we've got some players we're going to talk to in the next couple segments. Okay. And uh, you'll join me in the last one? Sure. Uh, you are watching West Kentucky Stars Basketball Weekly. Welcome back to WK Stars Basketball Weekly. Uh, with me, with me now is uh, one of my favorite uh, former Graves County alumni, Zach Kimbler. That's right. Getting the Graves County dig in there. <laughs> so, how's how's the season been going for you so far? Uh, it's been going good. Like I said, like Coach said, we start off what, five in a row, and then I think we went on a slump to teams yeah. we should have beat, but you know we just 
you know, Karis with the basketball, doing yeah. the little things, you know, made us lose. But, you know, we got back on track last game. One of the things that I think you do so well here for the Stars is that it seems like you use everything you've got to be able to play at this college level. <laughs> how, how in the world do you, are you able to do that? <laughs> I, I got to. I, I can't <laughs> jump. <laughs> I don't run fast. So you gotta use no your, athleticism. You gotta use your brain <laughs> yeah. quite a bit in this game. Yeah, you gotta be smart. Yeah, and, we're, and honestly, it seems like you're one of the smartest players out there we got. <laughs> uh, coach even said it's almost like having a, another coach out on the floor sometimes. <laughs> you live with my family. That's all you talk about <laughs> is basketball. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Your family is pretty big, in Graves County, and yep. uh, pretty big in basketball over there. Yep. Um, all right question we talked about before I uh, need to ask is how do you like practicing with Andy? <laughs> Andy, he's one of a kind. Uh, like I said, Andy can either make a big play and everybody get hype or Andy can mess something and everybody get on to him. But, you know, we all love Andy and uh, he probably hates me and this drill we call rip through drill because I just, I, I beat him pretty bad. He, he don't like it. <laughs> Well, it seems to be working for him. Yeah, he's, here, he's here played like, pretty he's, good. He's been playing really strong. Yeah. <laughs> so we can we can thank you for his yeah. play here in the yeah, last few games. I guess so. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, what what motivates you to play so hard? Oh gosh. I mean, I don't know. These other guys really, you know, when they come in here the first day of practice and they committed, you know, dedicated, you know, their time to this team, then it makes me want to, you know, give my time to them. Right. All right, thanks for uh, being with us in this segment. Yep. No uh, problem. Good luck to you the rest <laughs> of the, the year. Yep. You got big uh, Christmas plans? <sighs> no, stay at home. <laughs> stay at home. Stay at home, watch some basketball? Yeah, probably. All right, all right, thanks a lot, Zach. Yep. You're watching WK Stars Basketball Weekly. <laughs> Welcome back to West Kentucky Stars Basketball Weekly. I'm Dan Shepard and I'm sitting in this time with another one of my favorite Graves County alums on the team, Jake Williams. Jake, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, Jake, uh, how do you think, how do you feel about the season so far? Uh, I feel we've done pretty good so far for the most part. Like Zach said earlier, started off hot, made a little right. rough patch, but we're starting to get back on track, I think. Right, right, and it's taken a lot of work. You guys put in a practice and uh, things like that. Definitely. Um, what uh, What are some of your strengths that you bring to this team? Uh, one major one I would say is shooting. Okay. As most of the guys tell me all the time, I just try to 
help provide points, but also uh, the defensive end. I try to mm -hmm. step it up and talk, you know, and communicate with everybody. I think you can be a pretty good passer too. Yeah. Times. What's some things you need to work on though? Uh, probably getting a little stronger, going to the rim, going mm -hmm. off two feet more. Uh, that's the main thing I would say. Right, right. Who's uh, who's one of your favorite players uh, that maybe you try to emulate? Uh, I like to. I would say Jason Williams. Growing up, uh, I just like the way he passes that. the ball. I can see that. But uh, shooting wise and stuff, Ray Allen. I always mm -hmm. liked watching him too. He just right. shot the lights out. Right. Do uh, you have any plans uh, after you finish college here? What What are your plans in the future? I would like to play at a four year school after this if I could. But if not, I just probably go to UK and finish my four okay. years up there. And what are you wanting to work on at UK or wherever you... Uh, probably in IT or business, something like that. Right. Kind of following the steps of what my brother so you're, does. You're kind of like me, you're a little bit geeky. Oh yeah. So uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, thanks for uh, joining me with this segment. Thanks for having me. All right, we've been talking to Jake Williams, Graves County alum. You're watching West Kentucky Stars Basketball Weekly. Welcome back into West Kentucky Stars Basketball Weekly. With me now is freshman Ben Dix. Ben, welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. Uh, you come to West Kentucky. You, you grew up in Louisiana, yes, right? Sir. And uh, played basketball. Uh, tell, tell me how you got to West Kentucky. Well, my mother, she's from Stanton, Tennessee. That's close to Brownsville. So my after my junior year, we moved to Brownsville. I played football and basketball my senior year. Football we did fairly well. But for basketball, we did a lot better. We went 32-2. and two. It was kind of one of my better seasons I've had throughout my whole basketball career. We wound up winning state. It was my first year winning state. Yeah, I mean, what more could you ask for there? I guess. No, not I mean, really that much. Every, every high school basketball player dreams of winning a state championship. And, yes, sir. And few really get that, even get that opportunity. So yes, sir. congratulations on that. Thank you. So uh, you got recruited here and came here. How you liking uh, West Kentucky so far? I'm really, I'm really liking. It. I'm feeling it is a big difference from Louisiana and Tennessee, but everybody on the team and coach kind of makes you feel like home. Mm -hmm. Get a connection with the team, especially the people that I live with. Right. Tell me about what about those guys you live with? Who are you staying with? Um, I live with Lawrence. DJ and Anthony, mm -hmm. we all live together. And it's kind of different because we're all from different states and different right. cities. 
So just bringing a different kind of culture and connection inside the house, mm -hmm. it shows on and off the court how much we get along and live together. Right, and when you can, when you can get to, along together off the court, I mean that helps you on the court yes, as sir. well. As well. All right. I know that, uh, of course, you're a freshman here, and you happen to be working in the theater department here as a student worker, I guess. Yes, sir. Uh, tell me, how did you end up there? Well, my major is computer designing. It's kind of like. Um, modeling building frames of houses and mm -hmm. other buildings. So they kind of teaching me on stage, like where right now I'm working on stage sites and learning different things. But when shows come around, it's building things temporarily. And in class, I'm building things to last for a year and just drawing a blueprint of them out. Right, so I don't, when you, exactly, when you build them in the theater over here, they're just meant to look pretty. Yes, yes. they're not really real. Right, right, and things look, look good. They look great. They, yes, they do an amazing job over here. Um, you have, uh, what, what do you plan on doing after West Kentucky? Um, I plan on going to a four-year college. I'm not sure where yet. Depending on if I choose to further my basketball career, depends on what school I go to. If not, I plan to further my education. All right, Ben, sounds good. Uh, you've really been playing well in the last, uh, last few games, I think. Uh, yes, sir. Just keep it up. Yes, sir. Thank we need, you. We need you to step up big down low. Yes, sir. All right, thanks, Ben. You're watching West Kentucky Stars Basketball Weekly. Welcome back to West Kentucky Stars Basketball Weekly. With me in the last segment again is Coach Chumbler. Coach, quickly, the celebration is over. You guys won that last game. Uh, you got to get back to work, though. Right, right. And we did. We got back to work on Monday. And uh, it's just go forward from here. Right. And, and they worked hard. They've done a good job. We're going to get in there today and, and try to watch some film now that we have it <laughs> and uh, get ready for SIC tomorrow and Shawnee on Monday. Right. Two teams that you have played well against. Right. Uh, I'm sure they're looking for a little revenge. Oh, I guarantee you. Uh, uh, SIC is kind of the rubber match with us. They've beaten mm -hmm. us once and we've beaten them once. Uh, Shawnee, we've beaten them and, and I know that they weren't very happy about that, which I wouldn't be either. That's just, just how it is. Right. Um, they, they, they'll both be ready. Yeah, they will be. They're, They're both be. very similar teams. And you got to go on the road for both of them. We've been on the road forever, it seems like. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to spot them 10 points this time, if you don't mind. Oh, if I have to call a timeout three minutes in, I'm going <laughs> to die. <laughs> hopefully, we'll be ready. All right. I, I Suspect you will be, Coach. Good yeah. luck to you guys. Thank you. Thank All right, you. I'll see you back next Wednesday. See you guys back next Wednesday. You are watching West Kentucky Stars Basketball Weekly. <laughs>